straight to it, Cal. 200 senior appearances notched up on Saturday. You're only 26. Sky's the limit. It must feel brilliant. Yeah, it's obviously a really proud achievement for me. Um, I've had quite a few injuries as well, so to get the uh, 200 mark um, out of the way, I'm really proud of myself. And But I uh, don't want to sit on that. I want to get another 200 and more after that as well. 120 of those have been with this club. You've been here just over three years now. Does it feel like your club with the number of appearances you, you're notching up? Yeah, I've really enjoyed my time here. Um, thankfully, I've played a lot of games uh, under various managers as well. So um, long may that continue. And when you've got a relationship like you have with the fans through a three-year stay with the club, something's going well. Yeah, it's massive. Um, got a good connection with the fans. Obviously, three years is quite a long time in football. Uh, so, and obviously, my family basically grew up here as well, coming to the games every Saturday at home. So it's it's been nice. It's been a big thing for you, though, hasn't it? The family and the, they're they're involved. Everything that you do, they're here. They're with it. They're watching and kicking every ball with you. Yeah, it's massive. Um, they love the Saturdays when it's uh, home time. They don't like it when I'm away. Um, but them coming to every home game, it does mean a lot. Um, and I just want to keep making them proud. And I hope I'm not revealing too much. You just revealed that the missus was actually ready to celebrate this 200 with you. Yeah, um, I kind of ruined it because I thought it was on Tuesday night. Um, I texted Amy and she told me it was just gone, so I kind of missed it. And uh, Abby wasn't happy because she had a little summit planned, but yeah, still, still proud. So when you were a kid back at Derby, you kind of imagined that the career would go the way that it's gone? No, definitely not. Um, got to be really proud to be one of the few players to obviously get to be a professional footballer it's a, it's a dream job and um, I make sure I know that every single day coming into it I give it my all in training and games and obviously to get the 200 games it's really proud but as I said you can't just rest on that now You've explained it well there Cal because I think it's fair to say you are one of the characters of the group you're always joking with somebody anybody in that corridor but there's a switch as soon as you go out there it changes doesn't it there's a job to do yeah, I think it's important to be like that, um, especially going onto the training ground. You, you got to take everything seriously, even even just training sessions. Um, everything matters towards the, uh, the game day on a Saturday, and um, that's important to be like that. And the hard work pays off when you're with a, a group of players who are doing what they're doing right now. Yeah, we've got a really good bunch. Uh, got lads performing really well. Um, we got lads on the bench who are eager to get on as well. And when they're coming on, they're doing a really good job. Um, so it's important to stay on top of your game because we've got a big squad now um, and people we uh, want in each other's places so you've got to stay on top of your game to make sure you keep that starting shirt. There is competition, everybody's talking about the relationship you've got with Mox, you seem to complement each other really well. Yeah, um, we've got on ever so well since probably the first game we played together and we bounce off each other really well. I think we're kind of different but the same player at the same time so when one goes the other sits and vice versa. And, um, we've done really well together this season. And everybody's talking about the fact, Carl, none of you agree, you seem to be in the form of your career at the moment. You're really sort of bringing a lot to every game. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it at the minute. Obviously, it helps winning games. Um, I think it's important that uh, you stay on top of your game as well. It's not about what you've done, it's about what you've got to do. We've got, I think it's 16 games left. Each game's massive. Um, so, them 16 games are way more important than what we've just played. You've added goals as well. Yeah. Um, I told you after my first the floodgates were open. Uh, I was thought I scored on Saturday as well, which was disappointing. But as I say, whatever I can add to the team, I'll just do my best every game. I think that shot on Saturday sums it up. I mean, I'd, I'd, you won't mind me saying last season we were more worried about the corner flag whenever you went for it. This season there seems an inner confidence that you're going to hit the target. Yeah, I feel uh, a bit more freer this year. I think obviously playing with Mox and Gibbo as well helps that because we bounce off each other really well. As I said, when one goes, one sits. So when I, when I go this year, I know Mox will be sat behind me. So And I think I've just took a few more risks this year, letting shots go. I think I can take more shots as well, but three goals, I'll take that. You've mentioned it, 16 games to go. What a position we've got ourselves in. Yeah, um, I think if you offered it at the start of the season, everyone would snap your hands off, obviously, after last year. But as I said, it means nothing if you don't follow it through in the next 16 games. And two home games coming up this week, They're, like you said, they are massive. Yeah, home, we love home games, obviously with the crowds we've been getting, obviously the 8k against Barrow, one more, sorry. Um, if we could get another like that for the last uh, for the next two games, it'll be huge because the lads buzz off it. Um, 
it really helps us and the away support as well getting over a thousand down at Wimbledon is ridiculous numbers and we can only thank the fans um, for what they're doing and hopefully we can keep putting a smile on the faces. And just last one, Cal, have seen that support, does that remind everybody the potential that, that a club like this has got? Yeah, I think we all know it's, um, it's a one club city um, and everyone so passionate about this club and the lads know that and when we're getting numbers home and away like we are, we know the potential it's got and we've just got to keep pushing to keep them numbers up there. Superb, thank you. Cheers.